Hey everyone, Edward here at the Mac Observer, and in this video I'll show you how to easily process and grade your Apple ProRes log footage directly on your iPhone. It's super super simple, but it can take a bit of time to give it that color that you want. So let's just get to it. I'll just head over to the Photos app where I recorded a simple shot out of my window that contains a building, maybe a few hills and nature, perfect for a composition. And from here on, if you want to, you can use your screen vertically, but to get a bit more detail, just turn it horizontally. Now you get the full image, as you can see, it's bigger and you're allowed to see more detail in order to know what you have to do to grade your footage. So as you can see, the color profile is a bit flat, but this will change as soon as we adjust it. So press on the edit button, and from here on, you can again expand the image to have it bigger on the screen, and then tap on adjust. From here on, you can choose the auto button, which can adjust things on its own. But if you want full control, you can go into the manual section. But let's just try the auto option. And as you can see, it's already changing a bit the scenery. The image looks more lifelike, more close to the standard imaging. But let's just turn this off and do our own thing. Now, the first thing I highly recommend you to play with is the black point option. This will actually increase the contrast much better than the contrast option, keeping the tone of the color true to the profile. As you can see, if we go to 100%, it's already getting an identity. Let me show you how it would look with contrast to see what I mean in terms of getting this identity. If I go and increase it, it looks a bit weird, silvery-like, not very natural. So. I'll just go back to zero and increase the black point. Okay, from here on, I can go to contrast and apply a bit of contrast, but not too much. And we can also play with the shadows to increase the depth of the image. And last but not least, we can go to vibrancy, which will make the colors more vibrant. So if we increase it, you already see the greens going more green than the usual. I think if we keep it to 40, we get the best result. Then we can play with the temperature, increasing or decreasing the warmth. Let's try doing maybe five. And then we head over to tint and add a bit of tint. As you can see, you have to play very, very slowly with this degrees of change because it affects the image quite strongly. And from here on, the color is pretty much established. You can maybe you can maybe add a bit of saturation if you want to, to make it more vibrant as well. You see too much is too much in any case. And from here on, you can play with either sharpness or definition to increase a bit the textures. If I go 100%, you can see that the textures are a bit more exaggerated than the usual, but if you go to zero, you can see it in its natural form. Maybe we can apply 20 and as well 10 in sharpness. I recommend you not play with the noise reduction if you shot your shot in broad daylight because it can create weird artifacts and too much softness. Maybe a bit of vignette for artistic look, something like a 5, and you're good to go. From here on we can press on done, and that's it. Now you can see the final result in here as I uploaded the video on my computer. Here's how it looks. I think it's much better, I think it has a bit of personality, so to speak, but this is what you can do directly on the iPhone. I think it's super cool and easy to use, and if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.